And good evening, everybody, and a great big mighty thumb salute to you all out there. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, the Mighty Thumb Club welcomes you all. That's right. Come on into the powerhouse of awesomeness. Raise your glass of milk, and I'll drop in the chocolate syrup. And together, with the energy of Apocalypticus, we will stir it up and drink it down. Because it's a good night of New Cavalier Event Quest, baby. Let's do it. Yahooza! Yay! Boom! What's up, guys? How we doing? Woo! <sighs> oh, we out of breath, man. We out of breath, but we're good. Let's go! What's up, Hyperion? How you doing, my brother? Nobody else wants to watch Cavalier EQ tonight. Just you, huh? That's cool. That's cool, man. That's cool. Cool. We bring it anyway. We bring it like there's a million people here every single night. <laughs> doing all right, dude. I actually got out of the house today. Yeah. I'm on the hunt for a new car. Well, new to me, used to everybody else. We uh, ran into a situation today where we had to do quite a bit of running around with only one car, and it's uh, yeah, it's not uh, not good. So um, Jorda had cheerleading, Sun had Taekwondo, both had to be at the same place, at different places at the same time. Thankfully, they were only like a mile apart, but. In the world of normalcy, they're not. So, that is the next big objective. Looking for my used pickup truck. Trying to hold out for the right one, but might not get that option. Or, I might spend get a beat up piece of crap Hyundai Elantra. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. see. I feel bright tonight. I don't. I don't know why I feel bright. I feel bright. I'm not. I think it's the shirt. It's the shirt and the skin. If I wear my dark hoodie, I'm not as bright. So, crap! It look no. It literally just go. Whoa! What was that? It literally just got brighter. Cause I went to the settings. I hit cancel. I didn't touch anything. I hit cancel. And it jacked up the game. Wow. It jacks up the game. That needs to be 185. And it always jacks up my exposure from 5 to 4. OBS, thank you. Alright, don't touch it. I had two Ford Rangers in my driving career and... Dude, they just brought them back too for it, dude. That's the size I'm looking for. The, the Chevy Colorado has my eye. The Nissan Frontier has my eye. But I'm, I'm trying to find one that's under 15 grand. Closer to the 10 grand side. But also under 100,000 miles. And I don't think those two things are going to align. If they do, it's going to be like a two-wheel drive, not a four-wheel drive. It's not going to be the cab I want. I don't really have many other requests. It's got to be four-wheel drive. It's could be an extended or crew cab, but it has to have a cab. So a four-wheel drive, a cab, under 100,000 miles, under 15K, 
that's that's the ticket I'm looking for. That'll get me out to go look at it. So far, the one thing I found at one of the dealerships nearby that meets that criteria is it's a full size Ford F-150 with an eight foot bed. And I'm like, that's cool and all, but I don't want that <laughs> too big. Another movie on tonight, Braveheart. Braveheart was cool before like Mel Gibson went crazy. It was in that period of like really cool like kill everybody movies that and like Gladiator and stuff all came out around the same time. But looking back on them now, I'm like, eh. Like Gladiator's so cool, but it's definitely not as cool as the first time I watched it, you know. Okay, let's empty this. Boom. Also, between you and me, I. I changed a couple things around with my touch portal, with my my soundboard and my controls for OBS and stuff, my stream dashboard, and I need to keep an eye on because they okay they uh some buttons might be doing some funky things. I also reactivated my Spotify buttons. like I could jack the music up real loud real quick and then bring it back down and we'll see how this plays out I might have to yeah, I'm, I'm playing around with some stuff playing around with some stuff all right let's get into the game we're going into uh oh God. all right well that still works AQ didn't start again, did it? No, 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 no. Please don't start yet. Tomorrow? Tomorrow! Oh, we want to do the Love is Battle Realm quest. We didn't do that, right? All right, let's do that first for EQ. Or am I going to do it on the side? Boop, 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 boop. So that's one of the things I could do with Spot. I like having this the music, like all the music I get from Monster Cat. I usually stream from their web player, and they got like four thousand songs in the catalog. But what I try to do throughout the day is when I'm down here working, I try to let that player run, and then they give you the option to download songs. I can't download the entire playlist though, so like I I'll filter the catalog by one category, like oh electro or techno or something, right? Something that constantly has, like, mm -ts, mm -ts, mm -ts, kind of keep me going. Not all of them do, and some of them have long intros, but that's another story. But I let the playlist play all day, and then when I hear what is cool, I download it. And then I add it to my local files for Spotify to play. And I like to stream using Spotify because that volume is fixed, and that's never changing. The web player, I think I told you before, to get the volume down low enough to the point where I want it to on stream, I... I like have to zoom in the web browser to like 500% to get the volume control to tweak down from like the second notch to the first notch to get to that right volume. Otherwise it's too loud. So, and I, I can't even like right click on it and then use an arrow key to bring it down or tab over to it to select the toggle, the slider to toggle down. It doesn't work. But it's just easier for me to just add them to my computer as I find ones I like. And just throw them into my local list and play them through Spotify. We're going to come back to this. I'm going to do EQ, like I said. Oh, all right. Oh, sweet. The lower third. The promos are working on the bottom. I like that. I forgot to check for that the other day. <sighs> Literally just you tonight. Everyone else is bailed, huh?
I haven't seen anybody do this yet. Oh yeah, I ranked up my three-star Psycho Man to do some of those side quest missions, the solo objectives. All right, let's just hop into quest and see which which one this is. Have you opened any Shattered Heart Cav crystals? Uh, I'd like to wait to do at least a 10 pop. I don't actually don't know how many shards I have. Just 3,000, okay. to do it on this quest. This is... Science attackers reduce the potency of the defender's poison effects by 85%. Additionally, whenever a science attacker dodges an attack or performs a well-timed block, all their poison debuffs or impasses are removed. Science attackers gain indefinite passive fury. Contagion? Whenever the defender is struck or blocks an attack, there's a 20% chance to inflict a poison. Weak in the knees. The attacker is inflicted with a permanent passive weakness, reducing their attack rating. Uh, weakness is removed when the defender is suffering from a non damaging debuff. What was the first one here? Oh, okay. This looks like it's got Captain America written all over it. Wait, where's the boss? Where is the boss? Who's the boss? Is that like a Deadpool mask? That's funny. The map. When the attacker is suffering from a debuff, the defender gains a passive fury, gaining attack. Okay. Every 15 seconds, the defender activates a power gain. Uh, biohazard. When struck, the defender has a chance to bleed. When a robotic attacker would gain a poison debuff, they instead gain a shock. Sounds like an Omega Red fight. Or a Corvus fight. Uh, and quest. Alright, let's get the team, then I'll, I'll catch up on your chat. I might need him for the boss. All right, I want Cap for the science stuff. Um, oh, my boy. Let's go. Game sound. Go. All right, trying to save your shards, but already getting it. Ah, no signal again. It's a monitor. It has a mind of its own sometimes. What was the domino rotation that you did that got good SP2 damage? Uh, nothing specific for SP2 damage. There was a thing you got to do with the SP3 where the more you crit, the more your SP3 does damage. Or the more damage your SP3 does, I think it is. And if you crit 100 times in a fight, then you max that out. And the SP3 does insane damage or an insane critical bleed. And then if you can get to an SP1 again, you can refresh, I think, the crit bleed, I think is what it is. Something like that.
All right, what are you? Aggression precision. Okay. We'll do that one. Yo, Sam! See you sneaking in there, buddy. What's going on? There we go. One down. SP2 is just best to try and fire it when you have lucky and unlucky. Her SP2 tends to do a lot of damage a lot of the time. I did not do a seven hit combo, that was dumb. Whew, survived. Yeah, Hyperion, if you try doing the SP3 thing, so it, if you don't get a cooperative AI, it's very hard to build back up to an SP1 to refresh the bleeds. Definitely not reliable as just dropping L2s and smoking people. All right, I'm just going to red hole people. I thought Captain America would be doing more damage with this extra fury. Jeez. 
Oh, like this guy up, man. Oh, he clipped me with that? I have freaking 13 Furies. I'm doing like no damage. What the hell? Just wanted to pop in and say hi. Daughter's been sick. Ah. Oh. All right, thankfully they're negative. That's awesome. That's real good news. <sighs> Plumbing problem? God damn it. The shit never ends, man. Yeah, Sam, get some sleep, buddy. Get some sleep. Hopefully everything works out. Check back in tomorrow. Let us know how you're doing, bud. Try making it through this one with Red Hole. We'll try it. Oh, I have no choice. I have to build up my heat charges. Come on. We survived. We did it. I didn't think he was going to hit me. I was rushing to get my SP2 in before he got to 20 charges and got falter on me. Off or block proficiency.
Oh! Sneak attack the light on me there. Woo! Just made it. Watching Titanic the other day, nerd, and I swear every time I watch the movie, it gets better. Double nerd. Dude, no lie. I was in college. I took a girl for one of my classes to see Titanic. And it was the only time I have ever had the cool ass experience of making out in a movie theater. Yeah, during Titanic. <laughs> Ships going down, people are flopping off everywhere. Her and I are in the back row making out. It was awesome. It was definitely over a Valentine's Day thing. No joke, not gonna lie. The next morning got a phone call from her boyfriend that I did not know she had <laughs> he's like I know where you work I'm gonna come kick your ass I'm like oh please do I'll get workers comp it'll be awesome you making fun of me I'm like dude I'm not, I don't want anything to do with her man I didn't even know you were around I was like all this stuff I was like Jesus Christ but it was worth it. Celine Dion singing My Heart Will Go On. Could have sworn she was singing I Have a Heart On. Something like that. It was there. All right. Nano Plague. Whenever a robot attacker would gain a poison debuff. Oh, I thought it said non robot attacker. It said robot attacker. Oh, boy. That's not going to be good. Um. Okay, let's see what we can do. <laughs> yeah, we're goners. I don't hit into his block, and I think we're okay, right? Titanic is your top five best movies I've ever seen. Dude, Hyperion, I think we finally, after a very long time, have found something to disagree disagree upon. Oh, wait, no, you said it was your top five. Okay, you can have that. Alright, we made it through. No revives. Lord of the Rings, Braveheart, Force Hump, Titanic. The five changes on a weekly basis. Movies you've seen or just... I did the Lord of the Rings trilogy in one day. 
That was a mistake. Came out 10 years later. <laughs> and it's the only time I've watched them. I need to watch them again. I need to do I need to give them a good second watch. Now that I understand everything. You shall not pass. I'm Magneto. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> All right. I didn't read the nodes yet. My bad. Did I see Star Wars in the theater when I was a kid? No. Um, I saw Star Wars in the theaters in <sighs> when they did the anniversary editions and they re-released them with the new scenes that everybody hated. That's those are the ones that that's what I saw the original trilogy with the new scenes in the theaters. They did that in '97, I think, for the 20 year anniversary, and then '99 is when Phantom Menace came out. It's cool as heck to see the Star Wars movies in a theater, though. It's like... I guess it... it... Like, it's... It's very hard to... I don't know. It, it's just a nostalgia thing, right? It's a... It's a definite nostalgia thing. And I was I didn't my brother saw him in the theaters, I didn't. And when you're sitting down and all of a sudden it's you see a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Like you feel like you're taken back to like nineteen seventy seven. And then dun, it, it just comes and then the scrolling text and then it just get, you just get sucked in right away, man. So, and like, nothing against the people who have kick-ass home theaters, but there's just nothing really like it. If you're willing to give yourself and let yourself get taken away, you know, and that's why I like movies. I like movies that are shot at 24 frames per second and not, when they, you got TVs coming out with 120 hertz and they have like 60, uh, they support like, what appears to be like 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second with like 120 hertz TVs, the refresh rates are 120 hertz and you get like that super realistic feel. I freaking hate that for movies. I want to be taken away. Like I don't want to put on the good, the bad, and the ugly in 120 hertz TV. It's, it's going to look weird as heck. You know, I, w I want that original 24 frames per second feel of being taken away. There's a reason why it, that's the frames per second because that's the perfect deal. Star Wars impacted people back in the day. Oh, the way it did is the way Lord Rings is for me. All right, cool, cool. Never forget the first time going to see that movie. My dad, he was so pumped for me because it was like the books. <laughs> yeah, that's nice, man. Star Wars is also, for me, Star Wars was also, it was something I was into because my older brother was into it, you know? Same thing with the Raiders. You know, the Marvel stuff, this game, the movies, right? That's the real first thing that, like, I'm into that no one else in my family is into. You know, and that's the first thing that's like original to me that I'm passing on to my kids. And it's not that I don't like Star Wars. I love Star Wars. But I, I didn't originally get into it because of me and my interest in it. I got into it because my brother thought it was kick ass and I thought my brother was kick ass. So I wanted to get into it. You know? Yeah, when you talk about old movies and the way movies are produced, like, if you watch Raiders of the Lost Ark, right, 
there's a certain way we've ta I, I've said this many times sitting in this chair there's a certain way the cinematography is done in that movie there's a certain way they use like the old school black and white sharp lighting versus different styles of lighting today um even though it's not a black and white movie they use a similar lighting style right um and then the way like Harrison Ford just kind of carries himself on the screen this presence he has you know Jeff Bridges had the same thing I, I saw it in him in the original Tron in the very beginning when he's like talking to somebody about the the new big computer and this and that and it's it's like the the, the presence and the way these characters these these actors carry themselves on the screen it was it was different and it was they weren't trying to be real they were trying to be somebody else they weren't trying to make that somebody else a real person like in a sense it was they had to make it a believable person but it was a character they were playing and they oh, the way they go about pulling that off is really slick Yeah, I don't ever want to watch a soap opera in a movie theater. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. We got... This quest is... Tech Attackers. Okay, good. Uh, I for always forget the game is on this monitor here in front of me so I can hear it. And it's so much bigger. All right. When a tech attacker inflicts a defender with an armor break, the defender is also inflicted with a passive heal block. Okay. Tech attackers gain an indefinite passive fury, increase in attack by 35%. Whenever the defender tries to gain health while heal block. Every 15 seconds, the defender passively re Oh, well, that's nice. And then indomitable the defender's healing abilities can't be reversed when this would occur they are instead only prevented from healing okay so it sounds like it's warlock all day here what's the boss node have we got a sentinel if either champion has not made contact in six seconds both champions gain a shock debuff okay any champion inflicted with a shock debuff lands guaranteed critical hits for the duration of the shock debuff. That's funny. <laughs> Fight or flight. Every 12 seconds, the defender gains an unstoppable buff for four seconds. If the attacker is far away from the defender, one triggers, the attacker gets it instead. I remember that one. Stage fright. After the attacker uses a special attack, 15 second timer is started. If the attacker activates another special attack while this timer is activated, they are inflicted with passive direct damage. Okay. And Hurt Locker. Can't use the same special twice. I think we could still... Um, let's build a team up around Warlock. Yo, Braddock! What's up, dude? Jeff Bridges and in, in Tron Legacy is your dad. <laughs> Can't watch the ending of that movie and not cry my eyes out. Literally impossible. You gotta be a robot not to cry at that movie. That and Steel Magnolias. I stole that. I stole that. Bill McNeil. News Radio. Alright. Let's build out the Warlock team. Oh, we got a guardian team we can use too. Forget about that. I might break Sentinel for some fun. Hey, 
And when all else fails, we bring the one, the only, Star Lord. What's the name of the song that's on now or the song that was on previously? Right now, it is Fighters by Conroe. C O N R O. Let's do this. Is if I'm gonna run Warlock through the whole quest, I can't be throwing specials. This the recoil is gonna kill me. Missing parries. Ugh, oh, rough first fight. have any energy refills like zero like over the entire month of january i accrued zero energy refills and i have no idea how that's even possible Hey Derek, what's going on, man? The game appears to be working tonight, so we're playing it. I don't have an incinerate immune champ, do I? We're throwing heavies. I 
Give my armor up back, please. All right, it's back. Made it out of that one. We made it out of that one, guys. Moving on. Good job. Next time, remind me to scout the easy path for initial completion. Got Mephisto, we got Spider Man. Like, what the heck, dude? Sorry, buddy. I had to drop the L2 on you there, pal. Don't appreciate getting shot with webs in the face, you know? Not cool. Hey, have any of you guys in chat, have you guys uh, tackled Cavalier yet? Wasp. Not a long path. Someone's got to. Here, I'll clip it. I'm going to reread the notes to find out why his SP2 does so much damage. That's insane. There's like 28,000 notes. Oh, look at that! Ask for help from the White Square. Can the White Square help us? I don't know. White Square, please help us. Thank you, White Square. Did it run through on Master? Oh, wait. Derek said he ran through Cav first completion yesterday. Okay. Uh, run through Master. Get a feel for New Chance. But other than that, yeah, I'm, I'm a little scared of that. But that's also kind of fun when we get to the later quest. Not having dealt with Psycho Man or 
other guy. Pretty sure we could warlock this dude. He has the super unstoppable thing though, and I can't use the same special twice, and I got a timer on my specials. So not what does guardian him. I got it. Oh, so far away. Special timer. Oh, great. This fight just got a lot longer. A lot of things to look at on this fight. Oh shit. I can't throw SP2 again because of Hurt Locker. Got the unstoppable timer. We're gonna throw SP3. Not only the unstoppable timer, but then I gotta look to see where the unstoppable applied. Can't throw any more specials, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get three charges up before I throw my SP2. Only a two. Alright, got him. Alright. It hurts your head doing that fight. Your eyeballs are going back and forth a lot between the different. Uh, the nodes on the guys. Different effects on the guys. Alright, play next. We did science, we did tech. Mr. Fantastic Boss? Oh man. The last hit of special attack to grant a fury buff for six seconds. Okay. Uh, 
Take the Sauron Diva. Okay, what's the node? Wait, is there no... Is there no class thing for this? Cosmic, okay. a cosmic attacker lands an attack they have a 10 percent chance for each armor break on the defender to gain an indefinite passive fury yeah i read that i didn't comprehend it at all each time a cosmic attacker lands an attack they have a chance for each armor break on the defender to gain an indefinite passive fury oh this looks like corvus ish corvus ish Every three seconds, the defender gains a permanent armor up buff. Okay. Psycho Man seems pretty easy if you bait his SP1. You fought him in a legendary quest. Cool. Well, that's good to know. I will, uh... So you guys were saying yesterday too, is SP1 is what, like three swipes or something? And because Mist and Fantastic is going to evade, I want the Proxima Synergy. Wait, where's my Heimdall? There you are. Hey, Raven Knight, what's up, dude? How's it going tonight, man? Disregard last message. Have that blank in the cut where that would have. All right. Couldn't comprehend it if I wanted to, I period. Oh, you're saying AA for the boss? Hoping I can Corvus him, but he's going to be a lot of uh, cycles, I think. supposed to convert those armor ups into furies. Ah, 
Okay, we're good. I need someone who auto evades. Uh, 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 uh. Spider Gwen, you'll do. Changing DMX lyrics from when we were younger. Oh man, DMX lyrics, Titanic. It's a killer night for you, I fear. <laughs> X is gonna give it to you. It's gonna make your heart go on. X is gonna give it to you. My heart will go on. Bum, 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 bum. Boop. Boom. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Land heavy. Got it! Let's go! What the hell? 64k. Two things have <laughs> fridges. <laughs> kind of. All right, Raven, it said uh, a normal two hour drive to bring my nephew here. Turned to almost four hours. Oh, dude. No sucks, man. I still haven't done the second half of the end of my driveway. Nope, I pushed that off to the weekend. You ain't gonna evade, girl. Oh, oh. Spider Gwen and Avenger? She should be. can't do that. I have the Proxima Synergy. Use a heavy or special attack to knock down the opponent that used evade or auto block in a fight. Oh. Once the mission is complete, his true damage becomes true strike. You have to do it on each opponent? I don't know. What Killmonger whose skill? I fought Birthstone whose skill and I thought Spider Gwen who's science. I haven't fought a mutant. I have the charge. It should carry over, right? She can cancel true strike? Oh fuck the god damn it. Really? Oh, we should be getting charges galore here. Okay. Apparently she did, because it's here now. Okay. 
Wah, fui. Wah. Right, so we have two chargers, and this should be two more. Right? Oh, she's not an Avenger? They didn't give it to her? X didn't give it to her? Boo. Lost my blue mighty thumb. No. Never mind. Okay. He found it. It may or may not have been in his buttocks. <laughs> I said buttocks. All right, the Venominator. This dude, this dude Venom, he's a mean dude. All right, he's got the crack armor, toughest nails, things and stuff and stuff and stuff. All right, let's go. Venom's an Avenger, right? Yeah, totally. a sub dude I'll get to that in a minute thank you so much scared the crap out of me who was that Derek 10 glorious months thank you so much sir ten months you're approaching you're approaching the legendary purple thumb for one year. Ten months. Thank you, guys. And we just had, not too long ago, we had Sam with 15 months, Clay with 12 months, Derek with 10. Thank you guys so much, man. The true sign of awesomeness. Alright, I'm not even looking at the nodes. Well, I looked at them once. I'm not really looking at them. We're just going to Corvus this guy's head off. Evade failed, punk. Wait, I was looking at my nose. I had a whole bunch of stuff show up on my screen. Thought one of them said power sting. heal before we lose our charges. Heal up some more, please. seconds I like how that fate seal doesn't stop me from healing working as intended Oh, 
Oh no, he caught me. Ew. Oh, oh, well, my true strike's gone. My true strike is gone, gone. What happened? It came, went to come back and now it's gone. Does he, how did he cancel? Because of that question mark thing? He's gonna power drain, isn't he? Crap. No, 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 no. Chance, guys! We did it! Yes! Yeah! Woo! Oh my god, that was a long one. <laughs> oh, oh my god, you guys are loading up on the Bean Boozle attack challenge. That did not feel like 100 hits, it felt like 500 hits. Derek, Raven, at UTM30, hearing all of you. <laughs> Making it rain, man. Ooh. All right, next time, Archangel. <laughs> like Ravenite said. <laughs> all right, so when my charges came back, True Strike tried to come back, and then it failed to come back. It showed up on the screen, but then it got it blown away. Was it because I had disorient on me? It's the only thing I can think of. Ooh. Right. Scroll dude has uh this defender can block unblockable special attacks. Great. Falter effects inflicted by this defender last one additional second. I need like un like that dude can block unblockable attacks. I need them to start pumping out champs who are unfalterable. Ionized armor. When the defender finishes a special attack, they gain an indefinite armor up buff. Alright, what is the global on this one? Skill attackers! Prevent the defender's evade abilities while the defender is suffering from a disorient. Incinerate. Or shock. Skill attackers gain an indefinite passive fury. Defender has a passive vigilant chance to evade all attacks. I think Archangel's still the way here, <laughs> even though he's not skilled. These guys are all going to be evading. Well, except for the poison bleed immune guys you know yeah ability accuracy reduction with disorient so that chance for your true strike to fail and trigger again i guess that 
I think that's what it was. It definitely showed up for a split second, and then the word showed up on the screen. And I was like, we got it back! Where'd it go? <laughs> oh... Hmm. What's his note again? Walks and Bongo Balls. Walters a lot, has armor. People are gonna be evading a lot, huh? I don't like any of my other skill champs. They're all very much like, oh, cool, but not cool. Actually, Killmonger with. Who is it? You. I gotta have any suicide friendly champs here. That's not good. Freaking Nick. First person I choose is the buffed up yellow jacket. Did they change his animations at all? Or is he still the same? They just have different buffed up abilities. Skill distraction. Skill attackers prevent the defender's evade abilities while they're suffering from disorient, incinerate, or shock. Doesn't Fury prevent evade or something? Guess not, okay. Thought he did! Oh, we're so dead. I didn't think he had a bar power.
He prevents evade and can't miss when he has five or more attack charges. Ah. Ah, we might be starting this one over. Play it out a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Tick tock, oh yeah. A tick tock, you don't stop. Tick, tick tock, you don't stop. Mm -hmm. I want to suck you up. Boom, boom, boom. Go. Hey, hey, take us to the promised land. No poison. Come on. No, no poison. No, 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 no. Hey, you got a poison, please. Thank you. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Taking this guy to rank five was so good. Such a good move. Dude is the best. He's the best around. And he's never ever gonna let you down. No one is ever going to put him down because he's the best around. You need another poison here, though, but there you go. There you go. Convert it. I think we'll finish him with the L3. Yeah, Archangel. Hell yeah, he's worth the rank five. Derek, I forget who said it in our alliance. I remember I posted a question in line and someone was like, e you know, e yeah, he he's good enough at rank four, but when you get into Act 6, the block damage you're taking and chip damage you're taking... You really want him at rank five. Larger health pool. You win. Perfect. Yes, I did. Totally perfect. And uh, I was like, yeah, you know, I never thought of that. Totally makes sense. Pulled the trigger on it and we did it. Oh. 
Oh, got lucky there. All right, now we got three. We're good. to get that special off but you didn't oh chris wow in the house oh yeah wow Holy shit. he's here baby how's it going brother once the six star that'd be pretty sick all right who do we need for this guy He's got attack. He extends buffs and debuffs. He can block special attacks that are unblockable. He's got a falter mechanic. He's got armor. He's not bleed immune. Got a six star doom. Okay. Are you able to awaken him? That was a big freaking rock. This power gain thing he had, was that part of him or part of a node? Well, it's gone now. Crap. is l1 what are these nodes dude if not a gaze we'll place a falter debuff on the opponent when expired great fury armor oh no all right undermine that's a new logo grants unblockable to any hit which the opponent auto blocks Wow. Screw you, Guardian. <laughs> oh, I should have just blocked it. Wow. Just realize now we've done like no damage. Not yet. Oh, no, you'll definitely get there before me. I know that. Throw a single SP1 with Fury to get five charges and you can't miss Falter for the rest of the fight. Wait. Throw a single SP1 with fury to get five charges and you can't miss all right my fury's gonna die though oh maybe i got some heals I'm not using a love juice because he's in, he's already in decoy mode Try it. Right, he can bleed. This Ivan Drago can bleed.
That power gain thing, is that from his SP1? No, because it's gone. Why do I try to evade that? <clears throat> so close! So close! Holy block damage. That was cool looking heavy. Typical event quest stuff, right? Facing these guys on these hard nodes and event quests, and you just can't get a real feel for how real they are. You know? Oh, all right, we got two more quests to do. Kevin Coyote is now following. All right, Kevin. Thanks for the follow, buddy. Buddy thumb salute to you. All right, who's the boss? Tony Danza, of course. Oh! Mr. Sinister, seriously? God damn it. Power shield. All right, so we can't Archangel him. Oh, it could, right? Hey, Kevin, see you in chat, man. How you doing, buddy? Um, because the bleed and the poison and neurotoxin are still gonna do damage, right? Just my regular attacks aren't gonna do damage with power shield, right? Yeah, 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 because electro still does damage. Or I gotta bring somebody like Guardian for him. Guardian sounds like a lot better option. Defender rewards more power when struck, but his presence drains the attacker's power, okay? Oh, but if he throws a special before I get to an L2, it lights out. I'm not gonna get to an L2. I'm gonna bring Guardian for him anyway. What's the regular node here? This is. Nice, we got we got Mystic for the last quest. Oh, Claire, let's go. Do you have a YouTube? Uh, I seem like a cool dude. Want to sub? Well, I appreciate that, Kevin. I do. Um, do we have a command for that? I don't think I do. We never need it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh my God, can this thing type? There we go. Asked the wrong link. Crap, we gotta change that. Um, instead of Steiny TV, it's it's mighty Steiny now. Bum, bum, ba, do, 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 do. 
to change that real quick. Bots! Chat commands! Custom commands! YouTube change to... Boom! There you go. Money Updated thumb. link. Jake underscore Goffner underscore is now following. Jake, what's up, man? Thanks for the follow, buddy. Muddy thumb salute to you. Archangel should work. Use Blade the first time. Try and get a feel for the fight. And he was taking bleed damage. Yeah, I think he will. I think he will. Uh, Kevin, I'm not adding any friends. Because it, it, when you're a streamer and somebody wants to add friends, and you got to add everybody, it becomes a thing. So it just becomes easier not to add anybody. Um, But I, I do appreciate... Your nice, kind words. Tell me I'm a cool dude. Hope you can understand that. All right, we're going to bring... Wait, what was this? This was mutants? Oh, baby! It's go time. Time to bring in the A-team, baby. Let's go! We've been waiting for mutants and mystics. Let's go! All right. Bleed out, you out, you out, you out. Where are my boys at? Uh, where is my boy at? Where's Galoshes? There he is. Boom. 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 Newly awakened. Awakened her yesterday. Let's go. I'm gonna actually. I'm not here. We're gonna put Archangel on the bench. We're gonna we're gonna ride or die with Guardian for the boss fight. And I need you, right? You give her the extended time. Debuffs last a second longer. Yep. Let's go. That's the team. Break the tank. Break the tank. Let's go. I'm not doing Professor X. I'm not doing Void. Who is it? Sentry? Who's over here? Daredevil Hotfix, Sassy, Voodoo, BP. Yeah, it might be that one. Um. We do Iceman. They got Galoshes. Uh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, yeah, I'm liking that path. Okay. What's the note on that one? Each hit for the special attack of the attacking mutant champion has 30% chance to grant them a passive regen. Okay, Relentless Mutation. Mutant attackers gain a bunch of uh, Furies. Just to scratch, every time the defender is struck, they have a 20% chance to passively regen 90% of the damage received. This will not trigger if the defender's regeneration rate is inverted. Or if the attacker is... Oh, okay. That sounds like fun. Okay. So yeah, Archangel's like a guarantee for that path. Now! Bum, bum. Hey, Raven, I actually, actually a really good point, Kevin. There's a, uh, we have a discord where you can come hang and join the community there. And Ravenite dropped the, uh, the link in the chat for you. If you want to join up there. Ravenite's got my back. Let's go. Come on. A team time. My jam on. Thought I 
I time that? Yo, wasn't expecting that L1. Gotta break his ice armor first. Okay, he lost it there. Drop it. Come on, Colossus. Yeah, two crits on the L2. Let's go. How hard is it to assemble a couch? Not an IKEA couch, but real couch. I opted for self-assembly and I hope I didn't screw myself. A real couch? Two or three seats. Shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it comes. Even if you got like like, all right, I have a a three person couch, right? Each of the ends has a recliner. I've taken that thing apart and put it back together a couple times. Usually, a giant track on the bottom that all three pieces get screwed into or socketed into with a you know nut driver or something. Um. That's usually it. It's just a, you know, a ton of nuts and bolts. Or a ton of bolts. Usually like like 16 or something or 20 or something. Shouldn't be too hard, Derek. Like mine, I remember I had to, when we, when we moved, I had to flip it upside down. And there's a, a giant rail across the bottom of it, right? It's a rectangle rail. And each section of the three, those three pieces, they're all bolted in on the back, on the front. And there was two here, two there, two here, two there. And there might have even been two in the middle somewhere. Can't recall. And then the middle section has the same thing. And then the right section has the same thing. And once you do that and get the rail off, then each of those three pieces can then be maneuvered up the stairs and out the door and stuff. Three seat with a chase, but it's not a sectional. Just an L shape. Do you have a link to it? You can drop in Discord. Like it has to separate somehow. Unless it's, well, if it's not a sectional, it won't then. But the chase has to attach to it separately then. You know? Just get completely blackout drunk, assemble it, go to bed, and when you wake up, snap a picture. <laughs> For sure. That's another thing we got to replace in our house too, man. That couch I was just talking about upstairs. We've had it since 2008, since we got married. It's, uh... Everywhere you sit, push, or touch, you feel the metal underneath the cushion. It's time, man. I do, I do recommend Hyperion's method of doing it severely drunk. It'll be a lot more fun. <laughs> For sure, dude. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. 
Like this guy. This guy's getting blackout drunk right here. When he hits hard, it never gets old. Just as good as the first time, dude. Uh, what is this guy doing in here? Did I not click on Colossus? like the first time it feels like the very first time <laughs> hashtag metal babies that's right baby dude i'm just pounding her over and over and over in the corner Ooh, man. Feels like the first time. That's what he said when he finished her off. He's like, ah. Colossus was my first four star. I remember when he hit like a noodle. Dude. Yeah, we do. He got a much righteous buff. I remember when he was the, the mini boss in map five. Section two. Like season two. Season two was Venom, right? Not, or Kang. Season two was Venom. When Ultron, Venom, Kang, Dormammu. And then I lost track after that. Not sure you can pound a lady in the corner on Twitch. Ah, you could. You just can't show it. It's just not. No, you can't. That's probably a whole bunch of TOS on that. <laughs> That'd be, as they say, very bad. Come get some heavy attack. Ba -ba -boom. Ow, 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 okay. I could use one of those regen things. What the hell? Come on. Don't feel like giving me one this time? Okay, cool. Finally. The regen ticks for like four. Jeez. Thanks, regen. Ah, right, we got him anyway. Namor! I need more Namor!
There's no stun sound. When I stun him, my parry stun him, there's no stun sound. hear that or not hear that no stun sound Try and guardian this dude. Power shield. Let's get it. I'm at two bars already. Only one charge. I think we're going to go SP3 then. Then build back up again. Can I do an SP3? What the hell? with them baby let's go <sighs> that was nice that was so nice raven knight says okay featured five star time let's see if it was worth it all right raven knight we're pulling for you buddy Pulling for you. Uh, that sound bite says suspense, so there you go. We're suspensed waiting for you. I'm gonna do a granola bar break. That SP2 annihilated them, dude. That was so satisfying. Boom, 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 boom. This song is so cool. Infected mushroom with Spitfire. White Magneto. Not bad. He's new. He's new. Did, didn't he get the buff treatment too? Just like not severely as buffed as Red Mags. 
I know he has inverted specials. Well, sorry. His specials are the opposite of red mags. I should say inverted specials. That's not right. He has that, that synergy with... Um, that completely hurts Colossus. It turns your your parry stuns from a from a debuff to a passive, and Colossus can't convert it because <laughs> he only converts buff debuff stuns. Okay, I forgot about that. Cool for a lot of other people. Sucks for Colossus. All right, we got one class to go. You're, you bet your ass your head is splitting. I want to watch the replay of that. This SB2 was so pretty. All right, this plane's up. Plane's up. Okay. Here we go. Ready? We're gonna drop it down to quarter speed. Wait, hold on. Enjoy it. Thirty-five. Thirty fifty thirty five thirty five. Wasn't crazy what? crazy OP. The floor with them, baby. Uh, thirty-five, thirty-five, thirty-five. Was it three thirty-five? Pause my music. <sighs> Wipe the floor with them, baby. Let's go. <sighs> that was nice. That was so nice. I love it. Wipe the floor with them, baby. Let's go. Wipe the floor Ooh. with <laughs> Sinister. <sighs> Save. That was nice. That was so nice. Uh, and I'm downloading that sucker too. Cool. We're back. Granola bar sounds tasty. I think. Oh, you can you guys hear it? I thought my noise gate doesn't. I keep an eye on the meter when I'm chewing. If I he see it picking up on the meter, then I, I'll try to mute when I eat. Oh, I forgot to use my. Yeah, that totally would work. Oh no, you're not hearing it. Okay, cool. Good. Where is that one? <laughs> I'm so glad that guardian thing worked out. That was sick. And on to what I like to call the Claire quest. 
Okay, regular node is... Mystic Attacker fills a bar of power. They gain a passive prowess, increasing special attack damage by 80% for 15 seconds. Nullifying a buff from the defender converts all temporary prowess passives into indefinite ones. Okay! <laughs> Defender is under the effect of unstoppable. Become stun immune. This includes unstoppable effects triggered outside this node. Okay. Every 15 seconds, the defender gains an unstoppable. Okay, so whenever they go unstoppable, they get stun immune. Whoopity doo. Okay, let's load up the Claire team. Had an oatmeal raisin one. Nice. Which brand? Hey, I need to run something by you guys, too. Um, you know, Friday nights, we're doing the hardcore Minecraft streams. I'm thinking of creating a second channel for that. And keeping this one just for Contest of Champions. And then there's a second place for doing Minecraft. Um, it, it definitely makes sense to do that on YouTube for when I upload videos, but I, you know, for people who come here looking for contests of champions, when they tune in on Friday and they're like, oh crap, uh, where'd he go? Why is he doing Minecraft? I'd rather just say, hey, Friday nights, tune into this channel. That's the Minecraft channel. And that way that channel is always Minecraft. Anybody who finds it, finds Vaz on that channel, it'll all be Minecraft. When they come to this channel, it'll all be Contest of Champions. Tossing around in my head. Won't be doing it tomorrow. But, um... Thinking about probably doing it going forward after that. But wanted to get your guys' thoughts on that. What do you guys think? And if so, then we gotta come up with a kick-ass name for that channel. Like Donkey Balls or something. Chris Brown, um, I don't know if you've been aware, but every Friday we I'm doing hardcore Minecraft streams. And I'm thinking of breaking them out into their own channel. So to have one channel for doing Minecraft stuff and another channel for doing uh, Contest of Champions. Steincraft. Uh, that's not bad. We need more, though. We need a bunch of suggestions. All right, let's load up the Claire team. Like, I don't know that if that idea makes sense for someone at my level who doesn't have a ton of followers, but it definitely makes sense for someone at a bigger level. It's like 2,000 people tuning in every night. You know, those people will come to that channel looking for that content, and then if one day show up doing something else. I, I don't know. It's an idea I heard. And it made sense in my head, but I just don't know if it makes sense for me, you know? <laughs> Seems like a lot of work for you to follow another channel. <laughs> no. Maybe we put a pin in it and maybe we uh, worry about it when we get like 2,000 followers tuning in every night. I'm really enjoying the Minecraft streams. I, I'm definitely going to keep doing them. All right, Claire, it's go time. Where's Doc? Doc, get in there. Get in there. Oh, yeah. Boom. Um, Heimdall, you get in there so we don't die. We got an extra thingamajiggy. Uh, Sim Supreme helps Doc. Doesn't help. Yep. We're going to bring him anyway in case we need Doc for something. All right. And we'll bring Fury for the fun of it. Let's go. Don't think you should do it. It's less of an issue on Twitch. All right, Raven. Have a good night, buddy. Be good.
Are you going to be here tomorrow night? Or I know Friday night you usually aren't. Or are you home chilling and you'll be tuning in? Hey, YouTube, it definitely makes sense. I get that. And I'm 99% sure I'll, I'll create a second channel for the Minecraft stuff and get it on a different channel. I don't expect much traction, but I just want to keep it separated. Um, yeah, but maybe not so much here on Twitch. I mean, like I said, it, it seems to make sense for someone who's a Minecraft streamer. They got like a thousand, two thousand people tuning in every day for their live streams. And those people go to that channel every day for that content. And then to show up, like let's say the guy comes back and does a, a night stream, right? Or does a, a once a week stream or something and it's completely separate. Like I, I can see it making sense for that crowd and that area maybe not for me all right claire time to unleash the beast i see an iron fist over here hyperion that guy uh, that guy uh, that guy oh yeah i like that path Let's go. Buff immunity means you don't get unstoppable. I love it. Unstoppable heavy, or is that a node? It says casual one Q. <laughs> like these knights are MCOC and these knights are gardening plants. <laughs> then if people have some dumps, all right. Friday nights we're officially switching to gardening plants. Chris Brown told us we have to do it, therefore we must. Did I miss something where throwing heavies makes them up? They're throwing unstoppable heavies? Yeah, heavy hitter, okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, switch to poison mode. Okay, repair you fail. You gotta go to poison mode before you throw that.
missed it. Right. <laughs> the payoff on that was pretty bad. I'm missing the, um... Oh my god, we're dead. Oh no, what happened? I'm missing the, um... The thing that gives me prowess. That converts them to null find above converted them into permanent. I wonder why they didn't put Iceman and Rogue as a romance synergy. Yeah, really? Hmm. My tongue. That fight was awful. Yeah, I know in the movies, but... I guess, uh, yeah, I don't know. Were they hooking up in the comics?
Oh man. <clears throat> what is the thing that gives me prowess? I'm completely screwing that part of this fight up. Whenever a mystic attacker fills a bar of power, they gain a passive prowess, increasing special attack by 80%. Nullifying a buff from the defender converts all temporary prowess passes into indefinite. Maximum of five. We'll see. I'm feeling a lot of bar of power. Why am I losing power? That was weird. Why am I in poison mode? Why am I getting power locked when he never touched me? Uh, buyer beware in that fight. That's a weird one. These fights in Cavalier this month, they seem, for me anyway, to require a little bit more focus than last month. Crap, this one can get out of control quickly.
unstoppable. She's unstoppable now. Okay. I didn't want to deal with your L2. Oh no, your L2 is easy. That one felt like a boss fight. All right, Derek, have a good night, buddy. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a little while. That felt like a boss fight. Jeez, my eyes were all over the place on that one. Here we go. Moment of truth. Got health. He has major health. Major health. Heal or hide. Every 12 seconds, the defender gains a regen buff. Okay. When the attacker's ability failed to trigger due to chance, they are inflicted with heal block and power lock debuffs. Can't hit into his block. Why are we? Wow, okay. If he has armor up, he's unblockable, and I can't hit into his block. I can't throw specials? What? Ah. Didn't work either, huh? Explosive personality. Okay. He didn't come after me. I, I did an evade and he didn't keep chasing me. Supposed to keep chasing me, buddy. Wow. 
Well, they weren't uh, kidding about that flash warning. They gotta change that, man. That's that that flickering is too bad. I didn't have to worry about his L2 so I can pound him after these L3s. Let's go, Sim Supreme. Let's go. He's on that rank five list. Been on that list for a while. So the dude definitely has some funky special attacks. The SP2 is really weird. I've only seen it that time, and I think once earlier today. But, um, it is, a uh, not terrible. That boss fight wasn't terrible. I mean, I, I guess Sim Supreme helped. Oh, he helps nullify a lot of the stuff that's going on in that fight, which is pretty cool. All right. T2A, some five star shards, T5Bs. We're down with all of that, baby. We're not down with this offer. Okay, so we're going to work on grinding out that quest uh, next week. I don't have any um, energy refills, though. That's the problem. Like, I'm only going to be able to do so many paths a day. Two, maybe three a day. You know? Love that the event arena is going to update weekly. But... Event arena. Wait, the arena we did yesterday. Oh, that updates every week. So we get different like epoch shards and other stuff every week. Okay. It's like going on. All right, we went a little bit long tonight, but I gotta uh it's 
Thanks. Would like to have done that side quest, but we'll fit that in next week sometime. Or I might that might be something I do off stream, the side quest. Ooh man. It's cold down here tonight. 33 outside. It is not 71 in here, calendar. You're wrong. It is cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool. So we got this. Change this over. Boop, boop, boop. We got a remote to change the input on this, but I'm not complaining. All right. Um, tomorrow. Hardcore Minecraft day three. Pumped. I don't have a goal for tomorrow. I gotta do some quick research on which farms you want to set up first. I, I think it's mob farm is, for, is what I want to set up first. I just have to mine a bunch of. Um, a bunch. I gotta buy a ton of um <laughs> blocks. Cobblestone to do that. Any cobblestone and water, I need a bun I need a ton of torches, which means I need a ton of coal. Which we have a good amount of coal. But I'm gonna have to chop down some trees. We need sticks to make torches. Oh that it's just getting up there and doing it without anything spawning and killing us. Definitely going to be a challenge tomorrow, but I think that's going to be the goal for tomorrow is to do that farm. And that should be a lot of fun. So we'll do our homework on that and see if that's something we can actually get done. So, but that's going to be it for tonight. Hey, we had some new followers tonight. Uh, I'm not sure if they're still with us lurking. If they are, I appreciate it. Kevin with the follow. Jake with the follow. Thank you so much. Derek, I know you just checked out, but thank you for the resub, buddy. Ten months. Longevity. Appreciate it. And the bits, of course, as well. Hashtag Metal Babies. <laughs> All right. I'm out, guys. Be good. Be safe. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for some Minecraft. Stay mighty!